In Sweden, the burning of the Quran by a far-right anti-immigrant group has sparked four days of violent clashes in a number of cities. At least three people have been injured after police fired warning shots at protesters in one, and elsewhere police vehicles and other cars were set on fire. So far, 17 people have been arrested, as Mark Lobel reports. Fury at the authorities. The police targeted by protesters in this residential area in Norrköping. A spillover of days of clashes across Swedish cities. Three people needed medical attention here after being hit by police bullets. Several vehicles were set on fire. At least 17 people were arrested. Flashpoints have stemmed from a series of organised rallies since Thursday, led by the leader of a Danish far-right political party currently on tour in Sweden. Inflammatory events that include the actual burning or threat of burning of the Koran. Leading the rallies is Rasmus Paludan. He represented the far-right Stram Kurs or hardline party in the last Danish elections, where they received 1.8% of the vote, failing to win a seat. In 2020, he was jailed for a month for offences including racism. He plans to stand in Swedish elections in September. Iran and Iraq have both summoned their Swedish envoys to protest against the authorities allowing demonstrations during which the central religious text of Islam is set on fire. At least a dozen police officers have been injured in the clashes so far. Sweden's national police chief said he'd never seen such violent riots on his streets before. Mark Lobel. BBC News.